Use this running and passing scheme to go ahead and shred your opponent up and down the field. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTube that actually gives you full games of all the tips and schemes that post my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right, so guys, if you're new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button and also that notifi notification icon so you can never miss an upload. All right, so guys, we're going to be talking about um, the Titans playbook once again, but you can find a lot of these similar plays. This is going to be uh, basically about a six-play form uh, breakdown, but you can find a lot of the similar plays in the Falcons, uh, Buccaneers, Redskins, and Rams in particular on the 49ers. Uh, and we're going to be using one of our base plays, which is going to be the play-action cross wheel. And the other play we're going to be looking at is going to be play action sprint halfback flat. Now, both of them basically have route concepts that are fairly similar, but they just play a little bit differently and will, will actually cut your opponent off. Now, this particular play, play action sprint halfback flat, you can find this in the Bengals, the Lions, the Texans, the Bills, and the Redskins. Now, we're going to complement a running scheme with the halfback stretch, uh, and you can find the, the halfback stretch in the Lions. Texans, Falcons, Bills, Patriots, Jets, Redskins, Rams, and then the 49ers. So uh, this will allow you to go ahead and build out your scheme. And another uh, play that we'll be looking at is going to be out of the Jets, Redskins, and Rams. So it's going to be uh, the post wheel. So the majority of these plays will be in the Redskins and Rams and the Titans. Once again, it's going to be the I-form. Uh, and what I'm going to do too uh, with the I-form is I want to go ahead and put my best blocking uh, wide or uh, uh, fullback in uh, in a position. So uh, right now I'm actually got Deion Sims opposed to my tight end because he's, he's got better, better blocking ability. Uh, he's going to be a better pass catcher for me too. So I form and uh, it comes out with a stock double slants and the post uh, uh, the play action post shot. Uh, but I don't necessarily like these plays. I want to go ahead and try to attack my opponent uh, with the run game. So what I'm going to do first and foremost is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the double slants. And what I'm going to replace double slants with, um, it, if I do have this option, is going to be the halfback lead draw. Um, the play action post shot, I'm going to go and switch this up uh, with, uh, with a run play, which is going to be the halfback stretch. So I'm going to leave the plays as is. That uh, that uh, square icon could be a wild card for you because maybe uh, some of the playbooks you looked at don't have it. Uh, but the ISO and the halfback lead draw work a little bit like the same, but they're not necessarily the same. Uh, run play because I think the lead draw is better against zone coverage. And then post wheel we're going to leave as is and then the halfback stretch. Now out of the huddle we're going to call either one of the two plays. The play action sprint halfback flat or we're going to go ahead and call the play action cross fullback uh, wheel which is F wheel. We're going to run this against random uh, 34 defenses. Now, what I like about this particular play is that I've got a full running scheme that I can attack my opponent with. I've got a stretch play, which allows me to go ahead and attack my opponent off to any side of the field. And if I get the seal blocking, I can definitely pick some pretty good yards. Now, what I do like about the stretch is that you can flip the play um, and go ahead and isolate uh, one area of the field. And this will get you a lot of blocking uh, outside to be able to pick up some pretty good yards. So what I like about this play is that it allows me to go ahead and run uh, out to the, to the wide receiver set and pick up really good yards. And if I want to, I can jump into an ice inside run with the ISO, which is another audible that I can do. And I'm just going to go ahead and follow the, uh, the fullback. So you can see right here I get the seal, and I'm able to go ahead and attack my opponent off to the right-hand side if he starts cheating off to the left. So this is a good way to go and attack your opponent with a run game, um, and you can pick up some fairly good yards with it. Another play that I want to sprinkle into my scheme is the halfback lead draw. This is a very effective play, and it's good against someone who runs a lot of cover four, just coverages. And the key to this run is, is watching where the uh, where the uh, the center goes, and he's generally going to re lead you to the hole of the of the play. So uh, if you've got an opponent that's running a lot of zone coverages, cover fours, this is going to be able to pick up some pretty good yards for you and it's going to throw them off a little bit. 
Now, um, the other Audible 2, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into is going to be the po uh, uh, post wheel. And what I like to do with the post wheel is I like to take my running back and put him at a hitch route. Um, and you do that by actually going ahead um, and uh, clicking on his icon. Uh, and then actually going ahead and hitting the left trigger or L2 button for option. Uh, and the option route is going to be the following. Now, what we're going to be looking for is Robinson's route off the right-hand side. That's going to be a deep post. Next route is going to be Burt. And then the, following, the final route is going to be Howard as far as the read is concerned. So you can see right here the switch happens right there. I, my man beat right there, but it didn't come up with the ball. But uh, that was... Um, he had, he had a good release. Now I do the hitch route with the running back because it just gives me another area to read that. So let's go ahead and see if we can hit this completion right here for some pretty big yards uh, if he would have held on to that ball. Also the crossing route by the tight end is going to be an area that you're going to look to. So if your defender follows, you hit, him, hit the tight end. And a lot of times uh, you'll be able to go ahead and hit this and it gets cover two shells is that little wheel route because it will open up. So this is a, this is just another play we're going to jump into the scheme to go ahead and keep our, our opponent honest. You've got the halfback uh, stretch play. Uh, you've got uh, basically uh, the run off the right, off the left. You've got the draw. You've got that wheel, that post wheel route. Now uh, the base play we're going to call uh, out of the huddle is going to be this play, which is going to be that play action cross F wheel or fullback wheel. Now the fullback route is going to be a route that you can you can you can really expose your opponent if he runs into man coverage because the fullback we'll get naked against coverage but our first read is going to be Gabriel then we're going to look at Robinson and then from that we'll be looking at the fullback so against man coverages a lot of times Gabriel route is going to get easy separation and against cover two will get easy separation too so once again you can see right here you got the separation and you can wait for this play to open up for some big yardage on the back end side like that now, if you see the safety float up in a cover three shell, if you do a back pass lead, he's actually going to get a big completion for you right over the middle. So it looks like we got a cover three shell. And that fullback route will open against, against a single coverage. Let's see, cover three shell. Here we go. And we do a, pa a back pass lead, and that actually gets him in the middle of the field. So you can pretty much hit every single area. I don't even look at the check and release for Burton. I'm looking at these long balls down the field where I'm picking up 20, 15 yards, uh, 30 yards down the field. And if your opponent is playing down in the box to try to defend the run, that's actually going to open things up for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the play action sprint halfback flat. All right, so we're going to run this play stock too. So really what we're going to be looking for... Uh, is the crossing route on the back end side by the uh, wide receiver. So it's important that you establish that run um, with, uh, with your uh, running back. You've also got this little block and release that actually can bail you out and pick up some pretty good yards for you if your opponent is actually blitzing against you. So it's a nice little area to go and drop the ball down to. Now if you take a look, the animation is really weird. It looks like a flip. But it's all about these crossing routes that are going to get you the big, uh, big play. So this is good to attack your opponent. You can either, either one, use one of the two, which is going to be play action cross fullback wheel, or the play action sprint halfback wheel. But if you do it in conjunction with the running game, it's really going to pick up some big yards for you. So let's see if we can get this off. And because he's doing a man blitz, this is probably going to go housed almost with that play. So guys, if you're new to my channel. Make sure you hit the like button. And also, guys, uh, go ahead and make comments on how you might run this scheme and these different types of playbooks. So once again, my subscribers and my patrons, thank you for support, and until next time.